Hello everyone. In previous video, we have seen how to use OpenSSL to encode a message with the encoding method base64. And uh, in fact, in OpenSSL, we can use another command, which is slightly different, but gives the same result. So we keep the previous uh, input as before. Then we use uh, a command called inc. It's a general term for both encoding and encryption. Then for encryption, uh, we can specify what the cipher we want to use, like AES 128-bit and some mode like ECB. And for encoding, we can specify the encoding method. In OpenSSL, it's generally used 64, base 64, this encoding. After that, we need to specify whether we want to encode or whether we want to decode. In this case, let's see if we specify encode. And we have, now we have the same output as a previous command. And if we change this command a little bit by replacing the encoding method by encryption method, then we will have encryption with OpenSSL. And here we specify AES 128 key size, and we use the most simple mode electronic codebook mode. And if we directly type this and with E, then we'll be popped to uh, input the password. And this password will be used to generate the encryption key in this process. Let's choose a very simple type uh, password. I choose one, two, three. Q W E. Then I will be asked to re-input this uh, password one two three Q W E. Then I get this output. It's I have no idea what it is. It's not very nice. So that's the reason we want to use base sixty four to properly print the output. So let's go back to the previous command and we can clean the screen by a clear command. And to quickly get the previous command you have type in, then can, you can use the key arrows, like uh, up arrow and down arrow. And you see, if you press the arrow, then you can uh, you can uh, choose different command you have uh, typed in in the terminal. So in this case, we we were here, and then we want to use base sixty four. Again, I will type the password one two three Q W E. Repeat it, I get this command, this output. So uh, at least I can see it's uh, quite a random string and composed of uh, capital letters and uh, lowercase letters with uh, some digits. Uh, in fact, in this process, if we repeat this, let's see, one, two, three, Q, W, E, and we have repeated one, two, three, Q, W, E. Will we get the same um, ciphertext or not? Well, you see it's a different. So uh, what happened? In fact, in this encryption process, uh, although we specify its ECB mode, still it adds some random information as input, which is called salt in the 
encryption process, then even though we use the same input, we use the same password, we still get a different output. And uh, if we try to uh, deactivate this thought, this randomization process, we can use uh, an option called no thought. And here, let's see, we use a same password. Uh, one, two, three, Q, W, E. And we repeat this password, one, two, three, Q, W, E. So this is a ciphertext. And we repeat this again to see whether we have the same output. Now you see we have the same ciphertext. If we deactivate this option, uh, sort, sorting option, it's essentially a randomization process for better security. So um, for security reason, we prefer to use the sort in encryption. In this case, even for same plain text or same password, then we will have a different cipher text. Now let's see whether we can decrypt it. So then we have uh, the input is a cipher text and the output is should be the plain text. So we copy this. And uh, here we will again use this command ink, but uh, we shall use dash d, which should which is specify its decryption, not encryption. Then let's uh, input the password. Okay, we get the original plain text. Welcome to OpenSSL demo. So let's continue our demonstration. And in previous example, you have seen how to use AES 128 bit and the ECB, this option to encrypt the uh, plain text with OpenSSL. And uh, in this, in the previous process, uh, we have typing the password and uh, we don't really know uh, what, uh, what happened, uh, like what is the key encryption key and uh, uh, what is the sort value used uh, in this uh, command. So, to get more information to understand uh, what has happened, uh, then we need to modify this uh, command with uh, some extra option. And uh, now let's take, uh, let's try the option is P. So this option uh, gives you the opportunity to print out all the necessary information for what is the encryption key and what is the sort of uh, the value. And uh, to make it simpler, I will directly type the uh, password uh, for encryption instead of here. Uh, you cannot see the password. But here we use a, a key, uh, an option, a dash key. So we, and I type password, very weak password, do not use this password for your any type of a security application. And uh, then we, let's see. Okay, so we have this sort. This sort is used in the key generation based on some, some uh, key derivation function. And the output is this encryption key. So in this example, the encryption key is this one. And the output, uh, 
since we use the base64, this encoding, then the output in is this. And uh, again, let's uh, take a look at the decryption process. And uh, we need to replace the input by the ciphertext. So I will copy this ciphertext, copy, and then paste. And for the operations, as you see, we have the um, command ink in the place. We specify the algorithm we used for encryption. And in this case, we need to replace encryption by decryption. So we replace E by D. Then we keep all the other parts. Okay, now we get the output and with some extra information. So you see the sort is the same as sort here and the key, the decryption key is the same as the encryption key and we get the original message. Well, in fact, for when we take this uh, ciphertext, and some of it is the sort of information. And uh, within this, uh, this string, it's not totally the ciphertext, it also contains the sort information. The sort information will be used together with this uh, password to generate the decryption key here. Then it's not surprising that we get the original plain text. And uh, for this process, you can also uh, replace the cipher here by any other cipher and also the um, encryption mode. So suppose we can replace uh, AES uh, 128 bit by 256 256 bits. And we want to have a more secure encryption, then we replace ECB by CBC, standing for cipher blocks chain mode. And you can get the information of ECB mode and the CBC mode at Wikipedia on modes of operation. Then we have we keep the same key. Let's look at the, the parameters or the information involved in the encryption process. Here, in addition to the sort, we have this IV. That's the initialization vector used for CBC, which was not required for ECB mode. ECB mode. And in this, in this case, we get uh, this uh, ciphertext. Here in the ciphertext, again, it contains um, some extra information about the sort and the IV. Well, you can see the key here, the encryption key here, has a double size of the key for 128. If we repeat this process, now you see uh, we have a different sort value. And this sort, new sort value gives a new encryption key. And also we have a new initialization vector. And this vector uh, will be an input into the CBC first block of the CBC mode. So it gives totally different output. So we can repeat this several times and it gives you different output. Even we always have the same plain text in this example. So that's the encryption and the decryption with OpenSSL.